guys, how's it going? Uh, I just wanted to bring you a very quick video, and I know uh, in one live stream I did, I did kind of review the new, um, the most recent single from Mike Shinoda, but, you know, it, I, the funny thing is I remember which stream it was, I just remember it kept crashing. It, it either kept crashing, the laptop kept freezing, or something, and I kept redoing, you know, the streams, therefore I keep doing redoing the reviews the latest single i thought was okay i liked it better than the one that came before it but it really doesn't say much and so i kind of wanted to make this discussion because uh, i guess this is one of the reasons why i never really made a video of my review because typically i usually do regular videos when i do track reviews and things like that but i'm going to be honest with you guys but i don't think i'm going to be reviewing uh the new Mike Shinoda album post traumatic when that comes out. I mean, uh, for multiple reasons. Um, for one, I don't want to deal with the bull crap. Because <laughs> I'm sure, th you know, as far as some of the other uh, songs on the album, like all the deep cuts, like the songs that they're just going to re release along with the album. Um, I'm sure there's going to be more tracks that I'm going to dislike a lot. Uh, for obvious reasons, obviously, um, I'm not really a rap person. Me reviewing a rap album, just I just can't see that going over so well at all. Because rap is probably my least favorite genre of music, like, ever. So, yeah, I just can't imagine that going over so well. And... You know, it it just it just wouldn't suit this channel that well anyway, since I mostly talk about metal and rock. Um, so it would kind of seem off the wall for me to review an album that is rap. Now, of course, Mike Shinoda wasn't a rock band, Linkin Park. So Mike Shinoda is associated with rock music uh, in some way, shape, or form regardless. It's like one of those things where it's like... If you don't know anything about the genre, then shut up, you know? That's usually what I say, you know? Because I know people who, you know, claim to know everything about metal, meanwhile they label it as their least favorite genre, and which still puzzles me, but that's besides the point. That's kind of where I am with rap. Um, like, I, like, I really don't know much about the genre, and I also... I don't know. I, I, I just feel like my review would be too biased because, you know, I, I wouldn't give it, I probably wouldn't give it that good of a score if it had a decent amount of rapping on it. Um, and to be honest with you, there's really only one song that I return to at the singles that he's released, and that is Crossing a Line. There you have it, guys. Sorry, I, I just don't think I'll be reviewing the new Mike Shinoda album when that comes out. You know, mainly because, you know, I, I just feel like it would be too much of a bias review. Like, uh, this song has too much rapping, I don't like it. This song has too much rapping, I don't like it. You know, it's like one of those things. I hope you guys are okay with me, you know, not reviewing it. But, um, there's still a chance I may check it out. Um, I'm hoping there will be more songs like Crossing a Line on it, like more songs that actually have singing in it. But overall, I'm just not too impressed. But if you are, if you do like the, you know, more recent Mike Shinoda singles, then hey, good for you. But I'm not too big of a fan. That's just the way it is. So I hope you guys understand why I won't be reviewing the new Mike Shinoda album when that comes out. So just let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and take care.